a DVD player that recaps the events of the original film. Therein, a group of teens are slaughtered when they meet a murderous family living in rural Texas. The only survivor was a young woman named Sally Hardesty. After she escaped, the chainsaw-wielding killer nicknamed Leatherface, who wore the faces of his victims, removed his mask and disappeared. The DVD is playing in a gas station, watched by a young woman named Lila. Lila asks the gas station attendant what happened to Sally. The attendant says she spent her life trying to find the killer of her family and friends. Lila goes outside to join her sister, Melody Meal. The girls are traveling with Melody's friend, Dante, and his girlfriend, Ruth. They are heading to an abandoned Texas town named Harlow. Dante, a social media influencer, bought the town at a bankruptcy sale. He plans to sell the properties to wealthy young adults so they can build a new, more idyllic, mutt. As they drive to Harlow, they get into an argument with an angry Texan named Richter and meet the two police officers with jurisdiction over the town. The Texans are all suspicious of Dante's plans for the town. When the four arrive in Harlow, they learn that the contractor in charge of restoring the buildings is Richter. Later, they run into an old woman named Mrs. McStill living in the town at an orphanage she used to run. Mrs. McClaims that she paid off her debt to the bank and is still the rightful owner of her orphanage. Offended by her racially insensitive statements and concerned she will ruin his plans for the town, Dante calls the cops to evict her. As the officers escort Mrs. Mc out of the house, she suffers a medical episode. A huge man walks down the stairs to help her. Mick explains that this man is her last orphan and has been living with her for years. The man, the officers, Mrs. M and Ruth all get into the ambulance to escort Mrs. Mick to a hospital. Although Mel and Lila are upset by how Dante handled the encounter, Dante remains focused on proceeding with the auction. Her party bus with wealthy, young investors arrives as the ambulance pulls away. Lila wanders through the town and finds Richter working in his shop. She notices he owns an assault weapon and reveals that she is the survivor of a mass school shooting. Lila confides that she has survivor's guilt, saying everyone expects great things from her, but that she doesn't think she has anything to offer. Meanwhile, in the ambulance, Mrs. Mc passes away and Ruth texts Dante the bad news. The man begins acting violently in his grief. The officer in the back with him tries to take out his gun, but the man snaps the officer's hand off his arm and then stabs the officer in the throat with the officer's own exposed arm bones. He then shoots the other officer and the ambulance crashes into abandoned farm equipment. Back in town, Richter learns about Mrs. McSee's eviction and passing. He steals the keys to Dante's car and the party bus, saying he will only return them if Dante can prove he is the rightful owner of the orphanage. Dante looks through his files and can't find the deed. Mel, now upset that they may have treated Mrs. McCunn fairly and inadvertently killed her, insists they look through her house to see if she has the deed as she claimed. At the crash site, Ruth regains consciousness. She sees in the side mirror that the large man is scraping the face of Mrs. McSee's body and applies it to his own. This man is Leatherface. She takes the police radio and tries to radio for help, but the only person who hears her is the gas station attendant. Leatherface then kills the other officer he shot earlier by crushing his head with Mrs. in exogen tank. Although Ruth tries to play dead and later attempts to escape, Leatherface discovers Ruth is alive and kills her by slitting open her stomach with a knife. Leatherface then begins walking back to Harlow. The gas station attendant meanwhile calls his old friend Sally Hardesty, now an old woman. Sally grabs a stash of weapons and begins driving to Harlow. Leatherface arrives back at his orphanage home where Dante and Mel have split up to search for the deed. Leatherface attacks Dante and chops his face apart with a meat cleaver. He then heads upstairs where Mel hides under a bed. Leatherface sights down and begins applying makeup to his mask. When he hears the sounds of partygoers outside, he sees the investors celebrating and flies into a rage. Leatherface retrieves a sledgehammer and begins smashing into the wall of the bedroom. Inside is his old chainsaw. Although maimed, Dante is still barely alive. He stumbles outside where he runs into Richter and one of the party goers. He warns them about Leatherface before dying from his wounds. Richter grabs a handgun and walks towards the orphanage while the party goer forces Lila and all the investors back on the party bus. Richter enters the orphanage and Leatherface hides behind a door to ambush him. Mel can tilt a nearby mirror so that Richter can see Leatherface hiding. 
The two get in a fight, but Leatherface gets the upper hand when he hits Richter in the knee with a sledgehammer. Leatherface impales Richter on a shard of glass, and Richter collapses to the floor, where he sees Mel hiding under the bed. Richter tosses the keys to the vehicles to Mel before Leatherface finishes him off by bashing Richter's head in with the sledgehammer. On her drive, Sally sees the ambulance crash site. She stops to investigate and finds that Leatherface made Mrs. McSee's corpse into a grotesque memorial. Meanwhile, Lila gets off the bus to search for Mel and finds Dante's corpse. When Leatherface goes into another room to repair his chainsaw, Mel sneaks out and tries to make it to the exit. Leatherface catches her and they tussle, with Mel falling through the floorboards of the old building. As she makes her way through the crawl space, Leatherface uses his now functional chainsaw to try and rip her apart through the floorboards. Mel escapes when Lila hears the commotion and can break open a basement window for Mel to crawl through. The sisters flee to the bus with the keys and demand the driver leave immediately. The bus begins moving but mysteriously stalls out. The driver gets out to investigate and then his severed head is thrown back inside the bus by Leatherface. The investors immediately pull out their phones and begin recording Leatherface, threatening to cancel the killer. Leatherface responds by revving his chainsaw and killing them all. Lila and Mel manage to escape the slaughter through an emergency exit in the ceiling and begin running away. They see a car idling in town and jump inside. They find the car is driven by Sally, who refuses to leave. Instead, Sally gets out and pursues Leatherface back to the orphanage. Inside, Sally finds her old tormentor. She holds a shotgun to his head and demands he acknowledge who she is and what he did to her family and friends. Leatherface says nothing, merely pushing his way past Sally when he hears Mel and Lila outside. Realizing that Leatherface either doesn't remember or no longer cares about her, Sally attacks and tosses her car keys to the girls. The women get into a self-driving car and engage in the autopilot. As the car begins pulling out of Harlow, Leatherface mysteriously shows up and breaks the passenger side window to drag Mel outside the car. As the car continues to drive away, a weeping Lila screams as Leatherface decapitates Mel with his chainsaw. Leatherface then begins dancing with Mel's severed head and his beloved chainsaw. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching.